Call me something good. Give me some warm, fuzzy news from the internet. Tell me something good. You ever go through pictures and you flash back to that time? It's almost like you're reliving it. You can almost hear the sounds, smell the smells, see your loved one the way they were, and relive it. The same can be said with like movies, home movies, and even audio clips. That's what happened with 68-year-old Stan Beaton of West Yorkshire, England. He lost his wife to cancer 12 years ago, and since then he hung on to her outgoing voice message. This is the thing on, on the phone that says, Hi, you've reached. Please leave a message. Well, he lost his wife. He had that, and he was afraid of losing it. It meant so much to him that he called the cell phone carrier and he asked him, Is there any way that it's going to go away? And they reassured him, As long as you're not the one who deletes it, it ain't going anywhere. In the early days, after Mildred passed away, I listened to it quite often, but then it starts to wheeze a little bit through the hurt. It never goes away. And at times when I did feel low, I would ring my own phone from the mobile that I had at the time just to hear Ruby's voice. Recently, Stan either upgraded his phone or his plan and somehow that message from his wife was deleted. It just crushed him. He called the phone company and he told them what had happened and they put 10 employees they, they gave 10 employees a job of doing nothing but going through old deleted messages from all the phone customers and listen to every one of them for three days. 10 employees doing nothing but listening to the old deleted messages. And recently Stan got a visit from a man who said they found it. Sorry, at the moment, Stan and Ruby are not available. That's good. Please leave your phone number and your name after the tone, we will get back to you as soon as possible. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful sound that uh, I thought was lost forever. Yeah.